we're going to find the double angles of sine, cosine, and tangent given that the tangent of x equals negative one half. Now, remember that tangent is the sine over the cosine, and the sine is generally associated with y coordinate. Well, cosine is generally associated with the x coordinate. So if I draw this, we're told that the angle ends in the fourth quadrant. So angles in these classes are always considered to start along the x-axis. And it says first, second, third, fourth quadrant. It terminates here in the fourth quadrant. So then we make a little triangle here. Drop down to the x-axis, always the x-axis, so that we have a square angle right here. And then this is the hypotenuse. Um, the angle is always the angle made with the x-axis. So then this is the adjacent, or the one associated with cosine. And this is the opposite, or the one associated with sine. This is the y part of this triangle. This is the x part of this triangle. So if the tangent is negative 1 half, that means that either it's y is negative 1 and x is 2, or that y is positive 1 and x is negative 2. Well, in this configuration, it's y that is the negative 1. So this is negative 1. And the adjacent here is positive 2. So that gives us a tangent, which is negative 1 over 2. And then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is going to be 4 plus 1 is 5. So the hypotenuse is the square root of 5. Now, you need to know the formulas for all these double angles. And so the sine of 2x is 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. So. Um, we need to first figure out what the sine of x is, but we can finish this. The cosine of 2x is um, the cosine of x squared Will this let me do a squared? Nope. So I'll just go squared minus sine of x squared. And we would need the tangent, but the tangent's going to be easier. The tangent of 2x is just the sine of 2x divided by the cosine of 2x. And we're going to have those already instead of making a new formula. So let's figure out what we have here. So I need to find the sine of x, well, this is x, not theta, if we're using x's. It's kind of confusing because then we have x's and y's. But anyway, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And if we needed the tangent, we'd go sine over cosine, and we would get negative a half because the radical fives would cancel. Anyway, so we can do this now. Um, the sine of 2x is 2 times, we're using this formula, the sine of x which is negative 1 over the square root of 5, 
times the cosine of x, which is positive 2 over the square root of 5. So the sine of 2x is, well, here's a 2 times negative 1 times 2 is negative 4. And square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. So that's the sine of 2x. Now, the cosine of 2x, if we use the formula, it is the cosine of x squared. So that's 2 over the square root of 5 squared, which means we square everything in there, minus the sine of x squared. And the sine of x is negative 1 over the square root of 5 squared. And so this equals 2 squared is 4. Square root of 5 squared is 5. Minus negative 1 squared is 1. Over the square root of 5 squared is 5. And that makes this be... Remember when you're adding fractions, common denominator, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So that's the cosine of 2x. And so if you want the tangent of 2x, you just put the sine over the cosine, which means I'm going to have negative 4 over 5 divided by 3 over 5. And if I multiply top and bottom, I'm going to multiply this by 5 over 1. And I'm going to multiply this by 5 over 1. And I can do that because these are multiplying by 1 because 5 over 5 is 1. Anyway, the 5s cancel. And it turns out that the tangent of 2x What's left is negative 4 on top and 3 on the bottom. And those are your answers.